Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and this is a 15 minute, low impact, low intensity workout, specifically designed for the elderly. And I really hope you enjoy this session and that by the end of it, you feel fantastic and energized and alert and just happy. So, 15 moves in 15 minutes. We're gonna do 35 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 25 second rest. If any of the exercises don't feel suitable, simply swap them or leave them out and have a little bit more rest and then jump back in for the next exercise. So first I'm gonna do, nice and simple, we're just gonna walk on the spot and sort of kick our feet back. So it's left to right, kicking the heel, sort of towards your bum if you can, and that's gonna be our first exercise for 35 seconds. So, nice deep breaths, here we go in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So we sort of step and then we kick that heel back towards our bottom. Each exercise is different. We've got 15 different moves. So really try and keep that heel to the bum if you can. You're gonna feel that activate your hamstrings. 20 seconds on the clock. So left, right, and obviously you can go slower, or if you wanna speed up a little bit quicker, left, right, good. 10 seconds left. So kicking back, step, and lift that heel towards the bum. Four, Three, two, one, and relax, perfect. Next I'm gonna do is called a sumo squat. Now, we're gonna turn our feet out nice and wide. I'm not expecting, you know, a really, really deep squat, but even if you can do a shallow squat, just bend the knee slightly, nice straight back, just bend and straighten. And obviously, if you wanna support yourself, you can also run the hands along the knees, you know, towards your knees, and stand up. So off you go, so you can either Pulse, just body weight, or take a little bit of resistance through the hand, and that can help you slightly. And again, it's just about bending those knees, waking up these quads, open up the hips, and sitting down as low as you can, and stand up tall. So even if you're doing a tiny little rep like this, you're still working the muscles, and as you get a bit more range of motion, you'll be able to sit a little bit deeper each time. As you come back, your hips will start to Create more space. Three, two, one, and relax. Feet together. Next up, two options. If you really want to go easy, just march. If you want to go a bit quicker, you can just jog on the spot. So it's jogging or marching, high knees. Same thing, 35 seconds. Now let's think about elevating our heart rate. Deep breaths, get that pump in, and let's go. Three, two, one. So, march on the spot or you can jog a little bit quicker, whatever suits you, but keep going until that bell goes. So march, left, right, knees up, nice and high. So pump the arms, 20 seconds on the clock, and we're gonna go into some vertical punches. Keep going, last few seconds. So nice high knees, straight back, marching nice and high, deep breaths, seven seconds on the clock, four, Three, two, one, and relax, perfect. Next up, we're gonna start like this, and what we're gonna do is just reach up and punch. So it's kind of straight above the head, like a vertical punch. Um, if you can, rather than finish there, try and sort of finish right up there so you get that nice stretch through the shoulders, we press up, and you can go as fast or as slow as you like. Just think about reaching with those fists up, punch up, off we go, so alternate, up and down. Good. Stretch up, big punches. Good, we've got 25 seconds left. Reach up and punch. You can go straight up, or you can bring them out a little bit to the side if you want. Just make sure you're really getting that arm nice and straight. Finish strong at the top, and pull it down. Well done. Okay, 10 seconds left. Press, up, five, Four, three, two, one, and rest. Perfect. Next up, what we're gonna do is sort of, well first we're gonna kick back, and as we kick back, we're gonna pull our hands back towards our face. So we have to sort of stretch in and pull in. So you pull and step at the same time. So really kind of contract the muscles in your upper back. Think about squeezing your shoulder blade back together. So, it's pull and step. So reach out in front and stretch 
and pull back. Good. Stretch arms and pull back. Oh, lost me coordination now, sir. Right, 20 seconds to go. Big stretch. Remember, you're trying to squeeze your shoulder blades back together, activate those muscles in your upper back. This is going to help with your posture. You know, we've got, really got to pull back, so squeeze and continue. Pull it back. Three, two, one, and relax. So I can feel that through here, through my trap, my shoulders. Great little exercise for your posture, as I said, because we sometimes we slump. That's just going to kind of bring our shoulders back, improve our posture. Next up, we've got power knees. So left leg on the ground, right leg comes back, and what we're going to do is just power knees. So try and sort of bring that knee up if you can and stretch the arms and just sort of meet the hands on the knee. Let's go. So knee. So there's a slight bend in that left leg, and what we're doing is stepping back. And I'm just stepping back and I'm just stretching and driving that hands towards the knee. And obviously, if you slow it down, you can go slow. Just keep balance. You're having to stabilize this leg so you're having to work that standing leg as well. And then, obviously, if you can, speed up a little bit to get that heart rate up. That's it. Perfect. Come on. Left. And let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. So now we're going to stop. Right foot to the ground, same thing. Again, you don't have to step right back. You could just keep it a bit more shallow. You've got to step back, obviously. If you step further back, it makes it a bit tougher. So do what you can, stretch up, and then touch the hands with the knee. Here we go. This is exercise number seven. So it's seven of 15 moves. So big stretch, and touch that knee. Let's go. So power knees, driving up as fast or as slow as you can. Good, a nice deep breath. So should we get a little sweat on now? I'm feeling a little sweat myself. Heart rate's elevated. We're having to work our legs, our core. You know, we're having to stretch, open up our hips. And it's brilliant. Keep going, you're doing so well. You've got 10 seconds on the clock. Then we're gonna go into a slightly lower intensity one. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And relax. You feel that on the standing leg, can't you? So, Shake your legs off and now we're going to do some toe touches. So, nice straight arms. And what you're going to try and do, nice wide stance from the legs, is just rotate down and touch your toes. So we go left to right, really slow. Just be careful of the spine, get that rotation if you can. If that's too hard, aim for the shin. Off we go, so aim for the knee, or the shin, or the toes if you can. And we're trying to touch those toes each time. Brilliant, nice deep breaths. Left and right. Really get that rotation. Last few seconds we've got. 10 on the clock now. 10 seconds, touch those toes, come on, reach. Last few seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly stand up and feet together. Perfect, next thing I'm gonna do, this is a great exercise for our Glutes, so our, our um, buttocks, glutes, this part here. So what we're gonna do, all fours. And we're gonna try and kick this leg up. So bring it in, kick it up. So we're gonna do 35 seconds on this left leg. So just lift up the left leg, knee to the chest, and kick up. Just go as high as you can with it. The aim is to try and drive it obviously right up. But if you're only going there, that's fine, just get that kickback, just activate this left glute, your left glute's having to work. Let's go, drive it up, good. You really want to think about activating your muscles, like connecting with the muscle you're trying to use, and, you know, firing it up and strengthening it. Give it a reason to grow and get strong. And relax, perfect. So that's the end of that leg. We're now going to switch sides. We're now going to be doing a right glute kickback. So again, uh, hands and knees on the ground. And from there, we bring the knee up and then we kick back. So you feel that right through here. All right, we've got another few seconds on the rest. This is our 10th exercise. So we've got five more moves after this. It's a 15 minute workout. Let's go straight back in. So take your time, knee to the chest and drive up. 
Good, drive that heel towards the ceiling. So flat foot, and we're sort of driving upwards, that's it. Great little exercise this one. So really think about squeezing that right glute, knees to the chest, and push up 10 seconds. Good, get that breathing. Don't hold your breath, really get that breathing, and relax, perfect, good effort. Right, we are now on to, oh, another set of jogging. So up we get, again, let's bring our heart rate back up. So it's gonna be marching on the spot, nice and fast, or jogging, whatever works for you. Really, now let's try and get our heart and lungs working. So elevate the heart rate. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So a little bit quicker. Marching. Good, knees up. That's it, deep breaths. One, two, one, two, one, two. Or you could be jogging a little bit quicker. But just keep going, you've got 15 seconds left. Do a nice straight back. Straight back, shoulders back, chest up. And pump those arms, let's go. Come on, nice high marches. Four seconds, three, two, one. And relax, perfect, recover. Four more moves, we've got star jumps next. Now obviously star jumps are quite explosive, a bit maybe too challenging. You can make it easier by just stepping. So sort of, this is a modified version. We step out. Hands up and left to right. So modified star jumps or oh, fancy it. Straight in with the jumpy ones. Three, two, one, let's go. Step and step. So nice big step out, arms come up, reach the hands together, and repeat. Good. That's it, good. Come on, let's get our heart rate up, man. Let's lift it up. Let's really feel good, feel energized, and just good for the mind, it's so good for the mental health. I believe that exercise is the gateway to a nice, calm mind and it's just so good for our energy and our mood. Keep going, last few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax, perfect, recover. We're now gonna go down into a kind of nice, relaxing hip opening exercise. So just gently lay down on the ground. We're gonna lay flat on our back. And what we're gonna try and do here uh, it's just basically hugging the knee. So we're going to bring one knee to the chest, kick back, knee to the chest, kick back. So we're going to just work on our hips now. So just bring that knee in, kick it out. Bring that knee in, feel that stretch. Good. So you're kind of bringing it towards you, and yet if you, have, if you have your hand, just pull it towards you. It does feel like a pinching sensation, but it's really just opening up that joint. So open into the hips and Good. And again, knee to the chest, pull it towards you. Let's really improve the range of motion on hips. We really don't want things to be tight and locked up. We want it to be nice, moving nice and freely. Last one. And relax, perfect. So the next one is a child's pose. What we're going to try and do now, open up our lats a little bit. So on our knees, in this position, we're just going to come down, sit into our heels. Pushing the hands into the ground, so you're going to feel a stretch with your lats here and your shoulders. Push down and come up. So come forwards, inhale, exhale, push down. Off you go. So starting up here, sit back into your heels, like sitting into the heels. Inhale, exhale, sit down. Inhale, exhale. Good, push those hands into the ground, and again, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, push. Brilliant, that's a lovely little move there, bit, bit yogurt-y. Okay, so the final one's gonna be uh, another lower body exercise. What I wanna do now, again, just fire up those legs a little bit, start to build a bit of strength. We're just gonna do some pulsing squats. We're gonna go down, and we're gonna go one, two, three, and up. Okay, so three little pulses. So it's one, two, three, and up. Off we go. So pulse together. One, two, three, and stand. And again. One, two, three, and stand. 
little pulses. One, two, three, and stand. Ooh. So you haven't got to go low on these, just a tiny little pulse. One, two, three, and stand up. And again, same again. Come on, really strengthen these legs now. Three little pulses and stand up. Eight seconds. Okay, here we go, last set. One more to finish, let's go down. Last little pulse. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, we did it. There you go, 15 minutes. We've moved our hips, our quads, our hamstrings, we've opened up our shoulders, our chest. Hopefully your heart rate was elevated and you feel really good from that. And that's what I want to remind you about, that exercise isn't just about the physical benefits, it's the mental health, it's how we feel afterwards. So I really hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for taking part. Um, have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and I look forward to training with you again soon. Take care and good luck.